9.5 meters below space and time this crash did it. So how much interest? Well, I'm going to take this vector equation. All right, welcome back to Physics Teacher. This is our third, third episode for Al Gadu, and I'm going to base it on energy conservation. You can see I made sort of a half pipe here, and I'll show you how to do that later. But what we can do with this is I can bring this ball over to prepare to drop it in the half pipe, and I can test its energy. So we've done plot before. But what I can do is I can, instead of speed or position, don't go down here and say all kinetic energies so that'll give me a plot of its kinetic energy over time and I can create other plots for the same object so show plot so here's another plot maybe all potential energies and then I might even want to show all of the total energies as well And then as we drop it, right, you can see the change in potential and the alternating potential and kinetic energies. And you can see as the total energy is dropping. Okay, it drops more so the faster it's moving. So you can have um, experiments where you collect this data and you can test how much energy you're losing and therefore um, thermal energy that you're creating and you can analyze the frictional forces and so on and so on There's so much you can do with this data especially if you export it to a spreadsheet now the next thing we can do create a little roller coaster like this this is a simple one but you can see how I have the curves move in and that's one of the things I'm going to show you how to do today is how you create those curves so if I hit play we sort of create a mini a marble roller coaster here and you can analyze, um, say, circular motions because I do create these curves with circles. Uh, you can use perfect circles, um, especially that would be easier for high school and grade 12 physics. If you do perfect circles, uh, notice that this ball went off the track. So you can do things like calculate minimum velocity required to do off the track. You can show plots again of its kinetic energy and its potential energy, energy loss. So many things you can do with such a simple thing just like this. So how do I actually make these curves? So let me show you here. Now I've showed you the cut feature before. Today I'm going to show you the subtract and add feature. So here I have a rectangle, simple rectangle, and I can create a circle. You can put the circle right inside there, like so double click go to combine shapes and just click subtract there you go then it's gone right now here I have our circle if I want I could reuse this circle make it smaller and put it in my half pipe and there you go create a half pipe All right, well, what about the more complicated roller coaster? Let's look at that. For the more complicated roller coaster, I'm going to start with a large block. Then I'm going to create another block and a circle. I can take this block and sort of cut out a piece here. So I'm going to cut out, subtract, All right? That's gone. And I can put this in here and I can add it. So combine shapes, add. So now we have that shape. Okay. If I wanted to, I could go here and add this and then I might want to take this one and subtract it there 
right? So you can see I have that curve coming and going back up. And I can certainly finish it off like this and add another one. Right? And you can just continue making these curves, just adding and subtracting shapes as much as you want. Now you do have the, um, the polygon tool if you wanted to, if you're good at drawing. You could take the polygon tool and you can sort of draw shapes like that as best as you can. And you would probably want to pin that. Right? And so you can do it that way, but you can see the difference in smoothness is quite different. So you may lose a little bit of energy to bumps there, but that's all right. You can analyze that. So last thing, I can take a whole bunch of things that I've done and I can combine them to create what we call a Rube Goldberg machine. A Rube Goldberg machine is a complicated machine to do a simple task, but it has a whole bunch of transfers of energy inside of it. So you can create your own. This is a very short one. Later, I do plan on creating a much longer one for you to watch all the different types of things you can do. But to start, you can use your imagination. So if I simply take our pendulum, which we learned in the previous lesson, give it a negative velocity here to the left, and you hit play, you'll see all these transfers of energy. Pendulum hits the ball, our marble roller coasters goes around the curve, hits a rod, then knocks the other ball down the half pipe. So lots of things you can analyze there. I hope you enjoyed that video. And I look forward to seeing you on the next Algodoo video.